Jia ya mawasiliano ya habari ICT na masali ya vijana Jomo Sheru leo alishtumu pendekezo la naibu rais Dr. William Ruto la mfumo wa kiuchumi wa kwanza mashinani akisema umepitwa na wakati. Akiongea mjini Kiambu alipozindua ripoti ya baraza la kitaifa la makanisa nchini kuhusu vijana, Musheru alidai kwamba mfumo huo unaopendekezwa umewekewa misingi katika dhana za uongo. Akisema kuwa yeye ni mwanafunzi wa masuala ya kiuchumi, waziri wa ICT na masuala ya vijana, alisema kuwa juhudi za kuimarisha viwango vya kiuchumi vya vijana haziwezi kutekelezwa kwa kutumia suluhu zilizopitwa na wakati. That some of these far-fetched economic fantasies are anchored on falsehoods, sprinkled liberally with proclamations of sanctity by leaders who should know better. Mushero alitoa wito kwa vijana kujiepusha na viongozi wanaowaahidi suluhu alizozitaja kuwa zimepitwa na wakati kama sehemu ya mfumo mpya wa kiuchumi. Your time is now. Take advantage of your numbers to make the difference in this country. I challenge you to go forth and seek elective office so that you can start the journey of making meaningful gains for yourselves and for our country. Wakati huo huo waziri alishtumu baadhi ya viongozi wa kidini aliyosema wanawaruhusu wanasiasa kutumia majukwaa makanisani kueneza uongo na kuendeleza ajenda zao za kisiasa. Where has the church been when some of these falsehoods are being perpetrated sometimes from the pulpit by these misleaders? This has already been said earlier by the young people here. And for us to have a wholesome youth for a wholesome society Society must endeavor to tell the truth even when it hurts because the truth shall set us free. Akirejelea kushindwa kwa rufaa kuhusu mpango wa BBI, Mshero pia aliishtumu idara ya mahakama kwa kile alichokitaja kuwa kujihusisha katika wanaharakati. Akisema hali hiyo inasambaratisha ndoto ya mwananchi wa kawaida. We were planning to ameliorate some of these hardships by pledging to shift more resources machinani through the BBI initiative but it wasn't to be judicial activism took care of that yet we saw some leaders fervently thanking god the father for the adverse court ruling it is a classic case of not seeing the forest for the trees they missed the bigger picture because the whole issue was politicized and anchored as a power hunt rather than a noble development initiative that would devolve more funds to the people Beatrice Gatonyangetich Darubini